Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net and welcome to probably the most valuable tutorial on this DVD. What we're going to be doing is creating custom unique designs using some of the designs that come in evolution. Now the great thing about this preset is it's going to allow you to make basically an infinite amount of designs. Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. What I've done is created an NTSC comp and I'm gonna go into my textures, go to color, and I'm gonna take texture number 22. Bring that right out and I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down. We're just gonna create a nice background and then I'll create a new solid and then I'll choose effect, generate, ramp to add a gradient. We'll go ahead and set this to, let's see, we'll set this to black and we'll set this to dark, dark blue. Make it radial and uh, we'll bring this point down and the second point here. And we'll put this below our texture and we'll change our texture to overlay or better than that, let's go and change it to soft light. And that way it just looks a little bit better. And so now we have a background, which is pretty easy. This is all basic stuff. Now, let's get on to the Twister preset. Now, on the DVD, you will find in the bonus stuff folder, a folder called Twister preset. And there's an installation instructions here. Basically, take the preset, copy the evolution folder into your presets folder in your After Effects directory. And we got all the uh, languages, um, although you're probably better off launching the English version um, just because, you know, we know it works perfectly. So what I'm going to do is uh, go back to our evolution collection. We're going to go to our flourishes and we're going to take flourish number eight, but you can do this with any element. Drag it out. I'll go ahead and scale it down a bit. And so right now, here's our element, looks great. I can duplicate it, um, I can hit scale, and I can say flip it, you know, and sort of stick them together and create, you know, some different unique effects. And that's definitely a cool way to do it, and I definitely recommend it. Um, now, the way we're going to be doing it is using this preset. So if I go to my animation presets, we have evolution, and we have our two presets. We have one called Evo Name Layer Spin and Evo Layer Effects. Now, there's sort of a process to it, but it's pretty easy. We're going to create a new null object. And a null object is just a blank layer, but this is going to allow us to control this Flourish uh, Twister preset. So what I'm going to do is link the Flourish to the null object. And then I'm going to select the null object, hit Return, and we're going to name it Spin. So that's important, make sure you name the null object spin. And then first step, take the Evo name layer spin and drop that onto the spin layer. And we're gonna see some presets applied to the effects control. And then we're gonna take the Evo layer effects and drop that on our one flourish. Now I'm gonna take our flourish and just move it to the top and I'm gonna lock our background. So it's sort of colorized it orange, but if you select the spin layer, you can change the color to whatever you want. So we'll change it to blue. And right now, these effects don't really do a whole lot, but I'm gonna duplicate our flourish four times, or duplicate it three times, so make four copies. So I'm gonna hit duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. You can also select the layer, just hit Control D, and it'll duplicate it for you. So now we've created four copies. So if I select the spin layer, we can start playing with this. So if I go to the fan out slider and I increase it, check that out. We've basically fanned out these four elements and there's four of them. And it's sort of creating a circle. So if you take four divided by 360, it's a 90 degrees. 90 degrees makes that a perfect circle and uh, the elements are you know perfectly uniform so right there we've created a very unique effect and what I can do then is take these four layers 
change the transfer mode. Let's see. Change the transfer mode to add. And so the layers kind of blend with each other. So back to my spin layer, I can play with the color some more. So, you know, depending on what you choose, you can create some pretty interesting effects. And you see the difference is how they blend. Now, what I'm going to do, just to kind of make it look a little nicer, I'm going to create a new solid, or a better yet, a new adjustment layer. And then I'm going to choose Effect, Stylize, Glow. And so basically I'm just adding a nice little glow and I want to kind of bring it down, change that to 0.5 and increase the radius a bit. Okay, so I'll go and lock that layer. And now I'm going to go back to my spin layer. And let me show you what we can do. We have what's called the center offset. And what this does is changes where the layers intersect. So if you change this, you can create completely different looking designs um, almost instantly. I'll change this to half res here. And you can then just go and play it back, hit zero. And there you have a very unique design um, that looks, you know, absolutely nothing like what it looked like originally. And I mean, you can really overlap them. Uh, we can change the color. Make it a little bit more vivid here. So very cool way to uh, play with the effect. Now there's so many things I want to show you, so I'm going to try to get as many of these out as possible. First, the center offset. I'm going to add a quick expression. So I'm going to Alt click on the point stopwatch. And that brings up our expression here. And I'm going to go and type wiggle point, I don't know, point four comma 40. So if you type it just like that, you're going to see a cool effect. And what this means is 0.4 times a second, the point is going to move 40 pixels randomly. And so kind of a, just a cool way to add some random movement. So now if I play it back, you're going to see that our center point is sort of changing, which is causing the, the effect to sort of, you know, uh, move around in sort of like a organic uh, way and uh, that definitely looks cool and you can increase it you know be careful you don't want to go too overboard but you can play with these two values to create you know some different looking animation simply by uh, you know changing the numbers so that's definitely a very cool way to use the preset now I'm gonna take the wiggle expression just delete it and we're gonna move on to a few other things so what we can do is we can add more copies. So I'm going to make another copy and another copy. So now we have six. So if, uh, if your math isn't perfect, just type 360 divided by six, and you got yourself a perfect equation, 60. So I'm going to go and select the spin layer, and we're going to set this to 60 instead. And so now we have a perfect fan. So like if we do it slowly, you can kind of see what happens. And of course, you can animate this. You know, you can animate it to fan out. So that's another way to add more, you know, movement and animation just by simply animating these values. Now, let me go over some of these other things here, the rotation offset. So this just spins the whole thing. And it's kind of nice to be able to control them all at once. Scale offset, same thing. If you want to just kind of scale it down based on the uh, center point, that's uh, a good way to do it. Let's see, we have the opacity offset. We can uh, bring the opacity down to kind of uh, fade them out. And of course we have the color, which we've already been sort of playing with. But if you use sort of a lighter color with the add operator, it'll sort of like start blowing it out and kind of create a nice, a nice effect. So I'll go ahead and change that. I'm just gonna use blue for now. Now, other things that we can do. So right now, everything is pretty uniform. So it's kind of like a star, you know, every side is the same. Well, what we can do is select every other element. And then if we hit the letter S, that brings up the scale parameter for just those elements. And what I can do is just scale one of them down. And look, that just changes the design in that one place. So now, I'll play it back. 
So we've created a very unique animation, you know, that would be impossible to recreate. And of course, you can, you know, render these out, save them, reuse them, um, you know, all that good stuff. So that's a uh, that's how we can do pretty much anything. Now, let's go and take a look at another example. I'll go ahead, delete all of them but one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-compose this flourish. So I'm going to choose Layer, Pre-Compose, and I'm going to choose the Leave All Attributes here. Leave it all in this comp and choose OK. And then I'll duplicate it four times. And I'll go to my Spin Control Layer and we'll set it to 90 degrees. And so we're just sort of back to where we were a moment ago. But then I'm going to alt double click on this design. Now remember, these are all four copies of the same pre-comp. So what we can do in here is essentially edit this. So say we want, you know, let's let's look at it as a whole. Say we want to get rid of some of this stuff. Well, what we can do is take the pen tool um, and very carefully draw around some of the elements that maybe we want to remove. And so now we've sort of cut that off. Um, and then if I go back to the comp, check it out. Our design is then using only what's left. And then if we go to our spin control, Let's go ahead and um, we select the offset. We can just move this point around. And so now we have yet another completely unique design that's all sort of derived from that one design. And, you know, if you change the offset, you know, I mean, there's no real end to what, what you can create with the preset. So this is just one design. So think about this. One design is allowing us to create this many different effects. Like watch this, I'll go back into the pre-comp, hit M, I'll subtract this. So instead of doing that, I'll just do the reverse of it. And so, you know, look at that. Now we have a completely new design um, that we can sort of, you know, play with. And now one other thing that uh, I love about this, we can go into this comp and say we make the composition larger. So we'll go to comp settings, we'll make the width, or better yet, we'll make the height like 1900. And then we'll take the one design and we'll duplicate it. And as long as we do that in the pre-comp, we don't have to redo it ever again. And I'll hit M and I'm gonna delete the mask. So now we have two copies. And what I'm gonna do is time this up. So let's see, it kind of grows out from the middle here. So I'm going to kind of grow it out. And when it gets, let's see, when the end of this one gets to here, I'm going to rotate this down some. When it gets to here, I'll take my second design and sort of grow it out from that point. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of line it up so that it almost looks like one single design that sort of just continues on and, and keeps on growing. So, and, and you can scale it down to kind of fit it. I'm just trying to illustrate here. You can also increase the width to make a little bit more room. So what we've done is basically taken one design and sort of piggybacked it into a longer one. And uh, we can move them both over. Just make sure they're visible in the comp. Now we go back to our pre-comp and look at what we've created. We've basically created this like never ending growing flourish and we can continue that on and add more and add more. And so from a single point, we can just keep growing out this intricate design. And right now I'm using one design. You don't have to just use one. You can use multiple ones. You can use different designs. Um, you can use them over and over. Um, so that's one example. And again, you know, play with the center offset and you'll be amazed, you know, at what you can create from, you know, the single design. It's just, uh, just beautiful.
let's go to our project window and let's take design or flourish number seven. So I'm just going to delete these flourishes, but rather than just delete them, I'm just going to take this flourish, hold down alt. Let's see, hold down alt and just replace them. And so now basically we've replaced it with a new one. And actually let's move design number nine. So, and I can basically grab any of these. If I just hold down alt with them selected, I can just drop it on there and just change it. And you know, this is a great way to, you know, audition different effects, um, you know, relatively quickly. Let's see. So we want this to kind of grow out from the middle or so. Now that is just, that is awesome. Um, so like I said, we can just select these designs and just kind of go through and just replace them with other designs and, you know, you're never going to run out of ideas as long as, you know, you have some creativity and, you know, want to create something new and unique. Now, the other thing you can do is let's go back, let's select them, replace it with design number nine, bring it in here. And what I'm going to do is turn these layers into 3D and our texture layer, our background layer also, and our spin layer. So the spin layer is a null object. So we can just move the null object and that allows us to move all of them together. And then if I create a new camera, 35 millimeter, what I can do is turn on the uh, depth of field. So check it out, I'll take the spin layer, rotate it, you know, move it, you know, closer to the camera. And then take the orbit tool and just, you know, rotate around this a bit. Maybe move the texture back. Scale it up or so. So now we can sort of create some cool animations, you know, in 3D space, which is nice. And we'll take the camera, hit AA, turn the depth of field on, and turn the blur level up. Okay, now we can move the focus distance. So if we bring the blur down some, we can change the focus distance and focus on a different spot. You know, maybe focus on the middle, bring the blur down some. And so now we sort of have the growth happen and, uh, you know, it looks very cool. And we can also add like a, a camera move to this as well so that you can really see that we are in you know 3d space with these elements now one other thing we can do is right now the design ends here but say we're just looking through here and we're like wow that that looks really cool right there what what if we stopped it right there instead of finishing all the way through it well if you select all of the layers, choose time, enable time remapping, you can set a keyframe for that point in time and then delete the keyframes at the end. So what happens is it plays and then it stops and then it freezes. And then if you select these keyframes, you hit F9, it'll kind of slowly stop. So let's take a look at that. So as you can see, I mean, using that design and then you may want to turn on frame blending or something if you want to make it a little smoother but so anyway uh, I'm sure there's some other experimentation things that you can probably uh, try to do um, but uh, definitely play with the elements and play with the preset it's uh, very powerful and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it I uh, will see you guys next time